Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about application gateway and Azure load balancer. So make sure you're watching the video till the end. When we will talk about Azure application gateway. So this service, first we will try to understand a scenario where this service can come into the picture and then we will try to understand what are its different features and then we'll perform a lab. Now, we have discussed about www.netflix.com. So, this is a website that provides what kind of service games? Streaming service, right? Basically, we video, video streaming services. What are the two different kind of categories under video streaming services it provides? Netflix.com for slash series and www.netflix.com movies are these two services that it provides under its sub services under video streaming services everyone agrees on this guys yes so now just think about it that netflix.com is being used by hundreds and thousands of people at any point of time across the world yeah so there must be segregation of the servers which contains series databases or series uh, series related videos video files and there must be some set of servers which contains movies movies related video files now at this point of time if someone let's say you only if you want to see the series you will log into netflix.com and then you will click on series section then you will re get redirected to this www.netflix.com forward slash series can you guys see here this thing this website guys http whiteboard.office.com are you guys also not be able to access www.https forward slash www.whiteboard.office.com you guys will also be able to access it but the problem is that you will not be able to access this one. Post this because this is specific to my account. This is specific to the, the, the account to which I am logging. I will only be able to see my whiteboards. Are you guys getting my point what I, what I am coming to? So in the similar manner, if you want to access series. So for an example, I will just give you here a visual example. So what I mean to say is that you have, okay, let me get some space here. So you have this, this Azure application gateway. Now this Azure application gateway is, a, is also a kind of load balancer. It balances traffic, but it balances traffic at layer 7, which is application layer. That is the reason why you will be able to see the word application in its definition, in its name itself, Azure Application Gateway. How it is going to manage the traffic or how it is going to route the traffic on the application layer, which is nothing but URL layer. So that is the reason why we used to call this Azure Application Gateway as URL based load balancer or L tavern load balancer so what exactly will happen let's say if you want if you are hosting netflix.com here so there are people or let's say just think about some generic website which people are trying to access via this application gateway now what is going to happen i am going to show it to you guys uh, with with a combination of application gateway and Azure load balancer how you can use a combination of application gateway and load balancer so what I'm going to do here I'll create one Azure load balancer let's say one and I'm going to create an Azure load balancer let's say two now this application gateway will have two backend pools and these two backend pools will be your Azure load balancers only. Yeah. Now, if you're trying to access slash 
in this section the traffic will get routed to this application uh, azure load balancer 1 and if you are accessing series then the traffic will get routed to azure load balancer 2 and behind this azure load balancers you will have your servers all these servers are hosting a website called as netflix.com but the modules or the data of, the, of that specific movies module of that website is kept inside this these set of servers which are added behind this load balancer 1 in the similar manner for the series set of the servers the series information or the series data are kept inside these set of servers all these servers are nothing but web servers here I am referring them as a web server and they all are hosting a website called as netflix.com but depending upon the people who are trying to access if they are trying to access let's say movie section the traffic will get routed to the load balancer which is hosting those servers which is having movies data and people who are trying to access series section the traffic will get routed to the series set of azure load balancer which is in in turn is hosting those servers or in turn which is having those servers in the backend which are having series databases when whether it will be able to respond back the reason why we use is netflix.com because it is easy for everyone to understand and by using netflix.com we'll be able to clearly understand how the URL based load balancing will happen when we will use Azure application gateway. So if you will try to use Azure load balancer to perform URL based routing, it will not be able to perform that. But your Azure application gateway has the capability to go up to layer 7 and understand what is the URL onto which the traffic is coming through and if there is a rule that exists onto this application gateway it will route the traffic accordingly to the set of servers which are added in its backend what I have tried to show you here is that you can use Azure application combination of application gateway as well as Azure load balancer in order to create an architecture now what you could have done is or what I could have done is to make it very simple is that I would have created application gateway, app gateway, created two backend pools, servers added the servers like this okay and would have routed the traffic. Now the problem is here the load balancing is happening. Are you getting my point? Load balancing is happening here. If you have more than one server here, how you are going to perform load balancing on these set of servers? Load balancing of the traffic or the requests that are coming, let's say two requests came, yeah? So let's say one request came for series and another request came for uh, movies. Now this request sent to this set of server. This request has been sent to this set of server. But when you have multiple servers here in the backend, how the load balancing is going to happen within these set of servers is the network load balancer which is layer 3 so layer 3 load balancer will able to help to further segregate the traffic to make your application more efficient and effective while taking the request and responding to the request this is a most effective and e efficient infrastructure which you can create in order to make your url or your website more stable and efficient in order to take requests and respond back accordingly so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you want to have a deeper dive then we have something really special for you we have our free class on az305 certification free class that includes how to prepare for azure cloud jobs and along with certification and in this session, you'll be learning about why you should learn Azure Cloud, Azure Cloud Certification Roadmap for Cloud Engineers and Architects, and a lot more. So if you want to register for the same, then you just have to visit k21academy.com forward slash az30502. You'll be seeing this kind of interface. 
Just click on book your free seat now. Select an event date, enter your full name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes save my seat. You'll be seeing this kind of link on the extreme right. Add that link to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.